Newsflash, Hollywood hasn't lost its star power after all. The Hitman's Bodyguard performed above expectations this weekend, taking the number one spot at the box office with a domestic total of $21.6 million. The film has been criticized for its generic plot and has a low rating of 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. But audiences have flocked to see the Hitman in action thanks to the chemistry between its two stars, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. First. I'm first. Reynolds has had a career resurgence since starring as Deadpool, while Samuel L. Jackson is the highest box office star of all time. His films have made $4.9 billion in total at the box office, an average of $69.1 million each. That's right! You can't kill me, mother Does the Hitman's Bodyguard perform well for the two actors' individual opening weekend records, though? Are you kidding me? Come on! For Reynolds, the film's opening has performed moderately well. It outperformed his earlier 2017 film, Life, as well as last year's Criminal. Overall, the Buddy Hitman action flick is Reynolds' eighth most successful opening. His top three best opening weekends have all been superhero movies, with shock horror Deadpool at the top with an opening weekend of $132.4 million. Wait, did I leave the stove on? The story is different for Hollywood's most bankable mother Look at me when I'm talking to you, Muff. The Hitman's Bodyguard is Samuel L. Jackson's 28th most successful opening weekend. Although it beats the likes of 2017's Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, it trails significantly behind the star's other action movies, such as Kingsman, The Secret Service, and The Other Guys. It's perhaps best we don't mention Samuel L. Jackson's top performers. They'd make most films' financial return look bad. Like, really bad. Let's ignore it. Looking at the bigger picture, this weekend's box office was far from a success. The Hitman's Bodyguard outperformed Annabelle Creation in its second week, and a below-par opening for Logan Lucky. The box office total for this weekend was the second worst for 2017, and this month's total is currently tracking at 34% behind August 2016. Jesus Christ! Perhaps star power isn't the answer after all. And there he goes again. <laughs>